Welcome everybody to White Cloak's Real Ratings. I'm going to be doing this bit as a standalone video this week and going forward if there's good interest. To make it abundantly clear, all of this data is the official Nielsen data. This is legitimate as it gets with no corporate spin on it. These are purely the official numbers. The trade-off for the legitimacy is that it comes out about a month late, but I hope that everybody finds it interesting and valuable. This week we're going to be talking about the viewing week from August 8th to August 14th. Netflix's adaptation of Neil Gaiman's The Sandman jumped up from number 3 to number 1 this week with 1.3 billion minutes watched. That brings the total up to 2.4 billion over two weeks, which has to leave Netflix pretty happy with the performance. Given that strong performance over the opening two weeks and general positive fan reviews, it would not be surprising to see this one crack the 5 billion minute barrier. I would fully expect to see at least a six-week run in the top 10, though we will see what happens in late August and early September with She-Hulk, Rings of Power, and House of the Dragon premiering and likely eating up a bunch of the consumer fantasy streaming minutes. Stranger Things fell from number one to number two, but casually picked up another 1.1 billion minutes watched. With this week's performance, it has now cracked the 20 billion minutes watched mark, which is an absolutely insane performance, easily the highest since I started recording this data. 25 billion minutes watched is definitely possible at this point, and considering the next highest watched season that I've recorded is season 2 of The Witcher, which only cracked 9.2 billion, it's safe to say that Stranger Things is having unprecedented success in the streaming era. Virgin River fell from number 2 to number 3 with 934 million minutes watched. That puts it right on the precipice of 7.5 billion total minutes watched so far. The Netflix original doesn't exist in the fantasy sci-fi space and continues to absolutely blow these ratings away. Considering how inexpensive it is to produce compared to its CGI-heavy counterparts, it has to be obscenely profitable for Netflix. It's the number two watched show since July by huge margins, with 50% more viewership than Umbrella Academy and Amazon's two standouts in the terminal list in season three of The Boys. The third and final season of Netflix fantasy horror drama, Lock and Key, was entirely premiered on August 10th. It came in fourth with 919 total minutes watched. It would not be at all surprising to see another 900 million minute week next week, and it has the potential to break the 3 billion minute mark overall, which Netflix would have to be consider a smashing success. Netflix's true crime documentary ser miniseries, I Just Killed My Dad, premiered on August 9th and came in 5th for the week. 655 million minutes viewed isn't massive overall, but considering the series has basically a minute more than two hours of content, it's a permanent winner. Considering how early it was released on in the week, it's not a guarantee to crack a billion minutes watched in total next week, but even if it only hits 900 million, it would still be 450 million minutes watched per hour of screen time, which is a great performance. At number 6, Never Have I Ever premiered its third and penultimate season on August 12th and racked up an extremely impressive 596 million minutes in the three days recorded on the week. It'll almost certainly make the list next week, and an 850 million minute week wouldn't be shocking. Comedy drama seems to be receiving positive fan reaction, which should help it along next week and likely into the following week. Two billion minutes total is definitely possible for this one. As has become traditional at this point, Hulu's star-studded comedy, drama, Only Murders in the Building is the first to crack into the top 10 after Netflix. Episode 8 dropped this recording week and managed a now typical 379 million minutes, good for number 7 overall. Considering this is a weekly premiere and not a binge premiere, the numbers remain very strong. With two episodes to go, the show has racked up 3.25 billion minutes watched, and depending on the finale bump, a 5 billion minutes watched season remains in range. A stronger second season will likely earn a third going into the future. Even if Disney does decide that they no longer want to carry the show on Hulu, it would be shocking if one of the other streaming services doesn't pick it up, even with the hefty actor contract that contracts associated with it. Prime Video earned their lone spot on the weekly list next at number 8 with A League of Their Own. The remake picked up 326 million minutes watched and they're only three days after dropping their entire season on August 12th. Considering the strong showing in only three days, it seems likely to crack the billion minutes watched mark. The lukewarm fan reaction makes that questionable. This is one to keep an eye on heading into the next week. Netflix takes back over for the remainder of the list. Number 9 with 322 million minutes is Instant Dream Home. The HGTV home remodeling-esque show dropped on August 10th and will likely show up again next week as well. Another Netflix miniseries makes the list at number 10 with Trainwreck Woodstock 99, which managed 350 million minutes watched for the week. This one premiered last week with 504 million minutes watched, putting the total up over 800 million. Considering it had less than two and a half hours of screen time, that's an extremely good performance. I wouldn't expect it to remain on the list, but it may creep over the billion minute watch mark outside of the top 10.
Overall on the week, Netflix took 6.2 billion of the 6.9 billion minutes in the top 10 and held on to 8 of the 10 spots. For the month of August so far, Netflix has 12.7 billion of the 13.7 billion minutes in the top 10 and held on to 17 of the 20 available spots, including all 10 top 5 spots. Next week will be a fascinating week with She-Hulk dropping on the 18th and House of the Dragon dropping on the 21st. I expect She-Hulk will likely put up 500 million-ish minutes. I don't know what to make for a prediction of only several available hours of House of the Dragon, considering it will only premiere about six hours before the weekly count resets. That one may have to wait until it's had a full day of availability before it makes the streaming lists, and premiering simultaneously on HBO via regular TV will also affect its numbers.